Now, let's say uh, I can make this even more complicated. Let's say I want to I have the same charge distribution as as in the previous video, um, but now I want to find the electric field uh, at somewhere that is not right on this x-axis. Let's say I want to find the field uh, up here at uh, 0 0.065 centimeters, comma, oh, I don't know, 0 0.081 centimeters. Okay. We can work that out by, by making vectors, just like we would with our electric force. Um, we want to find the E field there, so the, the total electric field is going to be equal to the electric field from charge 1 plus the electric field from charge 2. And these are all vectors. Um, from charge 1, it's relatively, well, it's simpler than charge 2, I think. We've got KQ is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 6 over R squared. Well, we've got a, we can make a little triangle here. And we know this side is 0 0.065, or 0 0.0065, I should say. And this is 0 0.00081. Therefore, we can say that this is 0 0.0065 squared plus 0 0.00081 squared. Uh, I should have one more zero. And if we square root that, we get the hypotenuse, but this is R squared, so we. That, that's that's it. Uh, that is the magnitude of the field, and then we would need to do our vectors. That's our angle, the x component. Well, this is going to be up and to the right, so it's a positive x component and positive y component, and this is the cosine of theta, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is the point zero 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 six five over square root of 0 0.00065 plus 0 0.00081, both of those squared. And then the y component is the sine of theta, which is opposite over hypotenuse, so that is 0 0.00081 over root of that stuff again, 0 0.00065 plus 0 0.00081 squared. Okay. That's our first electric field vector, plus an E2 from this guy. That's going to be down and to the right, um, and our magnitude is going to be K times 1.2 times 10 to the minus 6 over. Now we have to figure out uh, our, our distances. Well, our, this is still 0 0.00081. Let's see. And this side over here is going to be, uh, we just subtract these two, 0.17 minus 0.065. That's 0.105 centimeters, so 0 0.00105 centimeters. So then following the same pattern, this is 0 0.00081 squared plus 0 0.00105 squared. That's the magnitude. And then... Our x component is going to be positive. If you look at this angle, I'll label it phi just so it's different. Uh, positive x component, so that's going to be cosine theta 0 0.00105 over square root of 0 0.00081 squared plus 0 0.00105 squared. And then since it's down and to the right, this y component is going to be negative, and it's the sine of this angle, which is uh, this point zero 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 eight one over the hypotenuse, which is uh, again the same thing. Uh, so the numbers get pretty complicated here, uh, and this is something of a pain to punch into the calculator. Uh, but the principle is there from any vector problem, vector force problem that we've done uh, back in the past. Um, and again, I recommend using your store fee function uh, thoroughly and uh, doing things like when you punch this in, you can take this quantity to the three halves to the 1.5 power, because this is the first power of that, and this is a half power. 
So that'll make it uh, a little bit simpler uh, when you when you're punching into your calculator. But it's still kind of uh, a pain. Uh, anyway, when I punch all this in, I wind up getting a uh, 2.36 times 10 to the 10th for a y component and a 1.96, etc. times 10 to the 10th, or sorry, 2.36 for an x component and a 1.96 times 10 to the 10th for a y component. And then we do our find our magnitude and direction just like always. And this comes out to 3.074 times 10 to the 10th uh, newtons per coulomb. And our angle, we just do the arc tangent of y over x. It's positive x component, positive y component. So that's at 39.7 degrees above the positive x axis. Just a, a few interesting facts uh, about some animals that that utilize electric fields. Um, in And a lot of them live in the ocean. A lot of fish uh, produce electric fields. There are some uh, in the family Mormiridae they uh, they produce e fields and then are able to sense uh, variations caused by things like other animals and so they they use that to to sense what's going on around them, which is really cool, I think it's kind of like the force you know. Uh, these fish just they know uh, what's around them by sensing the electric field. Um, there are certain kinds of eels, electric eels, they produce uh, electric fields strong enough to kill s small animals and stun bigger ones. Uh, so they, they kill, they use their electric field to kill little animals and eat them and then they use it on bigger animals to get away uh, and they can even stun people. Uh, sharks, too, are sensitive to electric fields, uh, and there's a device that somebody created called a shark pod. I don't know. I think pod is all caps. So I think it stands for something, but I don't know what it is. Um, and it generates electric fields so that, that sharks are kind of scared away. Maybe not scared away, but the electric field makes them not want to be there. Uh, and that, that's often used to protect swimmers and divers. Uh, from shark attacks. In the Sydney Olympics in 2000, uh, they used shark pods to keep the sharks away because the swimming portion of the triathlon was held in the Sydney Harbor, which is notorious for you know, having a lot of sharks. Um, so these things actually do work. I think that's, that's pretty cool. And it's very neat to see how, and I think it's neat to see how uh, God has created creatures so differently that in, in many different environments, there are so many different ways that they are adapted to to deal with that scenario. You know, these animals that are in deep water, a lot of times the water may be murky. They they may not be able to see very well, and so they they don't rely on their sight. They have these electric fields that that they they use to to sense what's going on. And it's really neat to see these these interesting ways that, that God has has created uh, different creatures.